Welcome back to another episode of All the Mod 7. Today, we are going to hop into the mod Hostile Neural Networks. I probably said that wrong, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure it's Hostile Neural Networks. It's like a like neural network, like some beside. Either way, that's the plan for today. We're gonna put this beside my mob spawner that I have going downstairs, which is uh, pretty good. I'm just gonna put it out there. It's actually working really good, and I'm pretty happy with it. I am feeling a whole lot better. If you guys couldn't notice, I was sick. Or, I don't know. I've recorded that video. It should be out. Well, it's actually Thursday, so that video will be out tomorrow. There's some exciting news that I want to talk about, and that is that I'm going to be posting videos more than once a week. Now, I am mainly a content creator for Twitch. That's mostly what I do, and uh, I've been really enjoying it. I'm a partner Twitch streamer. I've been streaming over there for about six years now. For those who don't know much about me, I was uh, into another game a ton, and I've always been a Minecraft fan. I also like World of Warcraft and a bunch of different other games. So if you are interested in other games, please let me know. Come check me out on Twitch if you guys want to. I'm going to try and all in doing YouTube videos. So what that means is I'm going to be posting up to three times a week and uh, that way you guys get to see more of my playthrough videos faster instead of it being once a week. We are very, 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 very close to getting YouTube uh, partnership, which is 1000 subs and uh, 4000 watch hours. We are currently at about 620 subs and we have about 6000 watch hours. So we're doing great. We're almost there. All we need is subs. So yeah, hit that sub button. All right, without further ado, we are going to get started. Before I jump in and just start doing things, I want to prep. This is what I do. And I'm gonna go over all the things that you're probably going to need to make one of these things. This is pretty cool. So Hostile Neural Networks, if you don't know anything about the mod, uh, I actually just recently learned about it. It is a very simple mod. It looks complicated. It looks all high tech and cool. And honestly, it is actually really cool, but it's really, really, really useful. And let me just give you a basic overlay or a basic description of what exactly it is. To start with, you have a simulation chamber. Now the simulation chamber basically takes and simulates a prediction matrix with whatever data you have for a mob. So you collect data from mobs. So you have like a magma cube data model and uh, you collect data by killing that specific mob as you see, it says data per kill is one and it levels up. There's tiers and each tier as it gets better will basically have a higher chance to give you loot from that specific mob as a matrix. So if we hit you here and we take a look at this, right? So we have the cow prediction. Basically, if we take and we have a simulation chamber, we put in a prediction matrix and then we put in a cow data model it's depending on the tier, as you see, it goes through. It has a percentage chance that you see right here to give us a cow prediction. Now, if it doesn't give you a cow prediction from a cow data model, you'll get something like the generalized overworld prediction, which is these are your basic ones that you'll get depending on the mob that you use. Let's say we get that cow prediction and we hit you here. If we throw this in a loot fabricator and we throw the cow prediction in here, it will turn that cow prediction into raw beef, which is really, really cool. But yeah, so you get to make these predictions and these predictions will give you certain loot based on the uh, data that it gets from the model. So like, for example, the Enderman is probably like one of the best ones that you can get. So if you get the Enderman prediction, it will give you an end crystal or an ender pearl. So what do you need? You need a ton of power a ton of power like a lot of power these things are power hungry and uh it adds up really quickly but this is actually the only way in the game that i believe that you can make a ender dragon prediction to get yourself another dragon egg after the first one is like been killed you're not going to get a dragon egg unless you use something like this so for those who are doing bees and you need a dragon egg specifically for the draconic bee, you're going to have to do something like this with a loot fabricator to get yourself a dragon egg. It's either that or cheating it in. And uh, we're not cheaters here. I'm going to set this up because while I do have an ender bee, I think it's just much easier for us to get uh, endermen going here and ender data prediction here. Uh, so we can go ahead and get infinite ender pearls. So 
what do we need? Let's start out by making the base component. So we need a loot fabricator. It does take a netherite to start with two pieces of diamond, some obsidian. So not bad at all. Same thing with the simulation chamber. It's relatively easy. We're going to need another comparator here. All right, that's easy enough to make. We're going to need some prediction matrices, matrices, matrix. How, how would you say that? Let's just go ahead and make a stack if we can. Let's see how, what we need to make a stack. So about a stack is fine. We're probably going to need more of those a little bit later on, but that's okay for now. We're going to need a model framework. So you're going to need multiple of these, especially if you're planning on doing multiple, like getting multiple uh, mobs farming and stuff so like i want to do an enderman i want to do uh i think the witches actually has some decent stuff you can go and take a look through this stuff we have phantoms pretty much most of the vanilla mobs are in here wither skeletons and stuff like that go ahead and make that real quick all right we have the model framework and then we're going to need a deep learner this is actually the most important piece that you're going to need uh, this is basically what where you put your data models in and uh, I'll show this to you because this is pretty much all we need. We just need those items. We're going to need to set up power and stuff a little bit later. So if we right click here with this deep learner, it's going to say no data model found. Please insert a data model. Your models will be trained when placed in the deep le learner. In order to train the model, you must deliver the killing blow. So you could theoretically, if you wanted to do this, you could set up a mob farm earlier on in the game and have something like iron spikes, something that only makes it go down to one health and as long as you're the person killing it uh yeah it's it's pretty nice because then you can just make yourself one of these data models and farm data so that's what we're exactly we're going to do so we can't do anything right now because we don't actually have a model done right now so what i want to do is i'm going to go to the end and uh, lord samantha the lame has awoken but what we're going to do is we're going to take this model framework here and we're going to go up here and we're going to right click on an enderman with this and it should change to our Enderman data model. Now we have to take and put this in the deep learner here if we want to start getting some more data on it. So for every kill that we get, we get looks like one data. The simulation cost as you see is 512 FE per tick. So we wanna kill a lot of Enderman for this to work. Y'all know what that means. It's uh, it's time to get to work. All right, so I've killed a few of these guys and we're going to take a look at this. See, now it says we're at the basic tier. So data collected per kill is now up to four. So we're going to need a total of 12 kills to get it to the next tier. So I'm just going to, you know, this a little bit more kills. Let's make this a little bit more fun. You think I got enough of them now? Oh God, don't hit me. Oh, they hurt. All right, now that we're back, I have already taken the liberty of cleaning out my backpack because God, I needed to clean that out. We are gonna need to make ourselves some more energy pipes and some upgrades before we jump into the next part. But like I said, we got our deep learner all the way up to self-aware so we can take this model out. Now, just so you guys know, you could actually do four models at a time in here. And uh, if you wanted to make four Enderman data models all at the same time, you could do that. So with all of this stuff in my inventory, I'm going to go ahead and make myself some more energy pipes real quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and make myself some more of these advanced pipe upgrades. All right. looks like we came out to 31. I can make some more. Uh, I just don't feel like I don't. I think 30 or 31 is a pretty good amount. I'm OK with that. And as you see, it actually transfers uh, 32K energy, about 32K FE per tick, which is more than what we actually have for power. He knows, he knows that I slaughtered all of his friends. He knows it was me. That's kind of, that's a little kind of weird, isn't it? A little sus that this, this dude just shows up like this. Do y'all not think that's a little weird? Don't look at me. All right, so let's set this up over here. So we got our energy pipes. We've got our advanced pipe upgrades. We're going to need our lengthy stone pickaxe of quarrying. All right, let me grab my pipe wrench. And uh, I went ahead and made me some flux points so that way we can pull this in. So what I'm gonna do is we are probably gonna need some item pipes too, which I have plenty of item pipes as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up like this. So we have our simulation chamber and our loop fabricator. So. What ends up happening here is if you have a 
simulation chamber, right? That's what's going to create the matrixes, matrices or whatever. Should we do it over here? So let's put the loot fabricator down and then I'm going to put myself the simulation chamber up top of it. And what I'll do is I'll take and put the flux point back here. Let's go ahead and configure this just like before. So like and subscribe for more. That was for my video. You guys should totally like and sub for more. All right, so now we have this. We're actually going to, it's already chunk loaded. So I'm not too worried about that. But we're going to take our energy pipes and we're going to run them down the back just like this. We're going to have to break that. And we're going to run this energy pipe right here. And then we're going to shift right click right here and then throw in our advanced pipe upgrade here. Now you could advance, you could upgrade this even more. I think it takes what netherite and you get an ultimate pipe upgrade. But I only, I mean, I'm only producing 24,000 right now. So this is not going to be able to get, a, you know, enough. This thing holds, if you see in the top left, it's at 9.9 .9 million FE. This one's at 1 million FE. So what we're going to do is, is please insert a data model to begin the simulation. So this is where you throw in your Enderman. And then now you need to give it some prediction matrices. So we throw this sucker in there. And as we see, launching runtime version 3.2.1. Iteration zero started. And as it goes through here, we see the power. It's costing 512. It will finish. And then here we go. We got ourselves a generalized ender prediction and we got ourselves an enderman prediction. So what I want to do now is I want to set this up to where it automatically works without me having to mess with it. So we're going to just do like we would normally do. Throw some item pipes down, wrench this out just like this. And this, as we see, is going to pull these whatever I want, I can click here and it will start pulling those predictions to say, Hey, what do I want? I want this. So we can click here and I don't think we can throw this in here. Uh, I think this is just a crafting material. So if you wanted like ender pearls or whatever, you can craft it with some other things. You can make like coarse for that's actually a really, really good recipe right there. But otherwise it doesn't really do a whole lot. Those things can probably actually just be thrown in the garbage can, or maybe they could be stacked up either one. See, we've got four already. So what I probably want to do here is we're going to go ahead and put an advanced pipe upgrade. So let me grab this Ender Enderman prediction and we're going to make sure that we only pull the Enderman prediction out of this specific one. So we click submit and then that way, as long as it's set to a whitelist, it will always pull the Ender prediction and throw it in here. Dude, I'm telling you, that's got to be some of the most annoying thing for it to constantly spawn. There has to be some kind of way to turn that off because that's a little ridiculous. I have this over here this network receiver. This is uh, what we could do is we could actually set this up. So what I want to do here is we could just go ahead and grab us some drawers here and we can just place a few of these like this and then we could pull out this way and go just like the oh, we got to break these just like this connect it in the back. And what this is going to do is we are going to pull from here. We probably should lock these first. Let's lock this. And now we're going to pull from here and we're going to say we want to pull. Let's grab some of those ender pearls. Let's go ahead and add one of these advanced pipe upgrades in here. And we're going to put the ender pearl in here and click submit. And what this will do is it'll pull this out and it should put it in this, whichever one I stick the ender pearls in. So I'm going to stick it in there and there we go. Now it's done. Now I can set this up with more than one prediction now. I can make multiple of these simulation chambers and just hook this up and uh, get it to be more of an advanced system here so that way we can just get more than just ender pearls. As you see, it goes through. Now, I actually don't really know how to upgrade these things or what we could do to upgrade. Like this energy, I wonder if that E stands for something you can place in there for power. It's only costing 512 FE per tick. So we definitely could have some more of these going. And I think one of these guys right here, one of these lube fabricators should be enough for at least two of these models. Now we will need a bunch of prediction matrix matrices, matrixes, matri matrix, the matrix into, we need Neo. Okay. So we're going to be need a bunch of Neos. So what I'm actually going to do is set this up for that. Go ahead and automate this a little bit. We'll break this right here and we'll place this one on top. And what we'll do here is we're going to do some cool stuff. We're going to first lock it with our locking tool. And then we're going to grab out one of these prediction matrices and I'm going to right click in here. And then now I'm going to take an item pipe right here and I'm going to shift right click onto here, but I'm going to take and undo this one. And then I'm going to shift right click here 
open this up, put an advanced pipe upgrade, and uh, let me grab one of these out here, and that way I can just add to only pull from this. Oh, if I click add properly, oh, bam, add. And now I can just throw whatever I need in there. So just pop, 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 and it'll pull it in there. So as long as this right here has prediction matrix matrices in it, I really should look up how that like how you say that hold on we're looking it up it's matrices okay so it's matrices all right we, we're learning together who knew that this wasn't just minecraft and we're learning it so what i can do to make this kind of dope is we can set these two up into a controller so let me go grab a controller really fast so check this out here's what we can do let's go ahead grab our linking tool right click this and right click these two now I can take and put an exporter right here and then I can come over here and grab a matrix and we can take and put this matrix in here. And what this will do is anytime there's a matrix inside of my storage, it will actually export it to this exact drawer. So now anytime that I want to refill this and I need to refill this, I can just come up here, make a bunch of those. Let's go ahead and do that. And then if I stick these into this right here, it should push them out into this, which it is. As we see, it's filling up here and it's filling up here. As soon as this one gets full completely, it should now pull this out. Now, the only thing is, is we have to get a way to get these generalized ender predictions out. I think the easiest way to do this would just be to do an item pipe up. And uh, honestly, we probably should just keep it. Let's just keep it. So the way we could do this is we got to be kind of careful about this. We don't want to interlock the system too much. This is pulling down here, right? So it's going to pull out here and it's going to pull over. And all we got to do is slap this item pipe here and that should fill it up. So we're going to need to do this. And then we're going to disconnect. We want to disconnect right there and that way it comes down and disconnect right here. So that way we can take when we shift right click this, we can take one of those prediction and uh, do the same thing here. Add in an advanced pipe upgrade and then we click add and add in the generalized ender one. So that way it only pulls that out. It won't pull anything else out. So that should be stacking up as we saw it. It started adding up and this is good. This is now set up. If we want to see this in our system, we are going to need another external storage. So what we want to do here is we want to make sure that this is connected through an external storage. I can do this under the ground here so it doesn't show. So let me go ahead and do that really fast. Okay, so I'm confused. This is now getting my B stuff in it. And I don't know how because this is a storage controller. I am so confused. So I don't have something pulling from here, right? I have the exp exporter right here doing the prediction matrix. This is an external storage. So there's actually nothing saying to be pumped in here. There's no item that pipe that says to go in here. This is an exporter and this is an external storage. How is this doing this pushing my B stuff over here? I am so confused right now. If I break this external storage, the question is, are these things still getting imported? I think I might have figured this out. So if an item goes into my system, Let's say I put this up, it goes in here. So I set this to ex or exact mode and extract only. Does that mean, let me test this now. So if I put this in here, does that put it in here now? It won't put it in this chest. I'm so, I have no idea. I have no clue, like none whatsoever, like how this is happening. So the question is, can I look at my ender pearls in here? I can, okay. So I, I guess, this being set to extract only is going to be the fix for now. But uh, yeah, this is a, a really bad way of setting this up. This looks a little dumb, uh, but it, it works for now. We could do this with modular routers, which I actually really enjoy. We have some simulations in here. We have the data module. We're going to need to make another one of these simulation chambers, uh, and that should be perfectly fine for us to do. But we need to get ourselves another data module. So let's go take a look at the different ones that we can get. So if we look at these predictions, we can see all of the different items that can come out of these predictions. Now, I did want to make a coal B, but the wither skeleton prediction here actually gives us 
wither skeleton skulls straight out. So that could be a faster way for us to farm out some coal and some wither skeleton. So that wouldn't be too bad. Ah, here we are. The wither prediction matrix. This is how you farm nether stars. This is probably what we're going to end up needing to do. So I'm definitely going to have to make one of these and uh, we'll get, we'll get going with those. You might be thinking, Alfred, how can you make wither prediction stuff? You don't have any wither skeleton skulls. How many withers could you kill? We've got wither bees, which makes us wither skeleton skull. That's 17. Oh, we're going to need to make ourselves another one of these model frameworks here. But first, let's see if we can upgrade our sword. We have an all the modium sword still. Surely with all of our stuff, we can make an unobtainium one, right? And just like that, an indestructible unobtainium sword. Let's go ahead and go to the nether. Ah! All right. One, two, three, four, four. Can y'all please quit spawning? Four withers set up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this first one. And uh, I'm going to hit it with both of these uh, model frameworks. And I'm going to just be ready for this to put it into my HUD and uh, see if it works. Actually, hold on. It's good. Never mind. It's going to destroy these. I've got to do all of them. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. I panicked. I'm going to live, right? I'm going to live, right? I'm going to live, right? I'm going to live. Oh, God. Ah! I just realized I didn't put this in my HUD. Ah! All right, let's see if that actually with the one kill, did it give it for both of it? It did actually. This costs 2560. Oh, I gave it for both of those. So now we just need to get a bunch of wither skeleton or willy or willy willy skeleton. We need to get a bunch of wither skeleton skulls then. We've just got to make a wither skeleton model and then charge that up. Okay, I have now got this wither skeleton data module to self-aware. And now I think I can go ahead and build a couple of more of these withers out and just uh, and just kill them. Get a couple more of these uh, you know, datas going, you know, get, get a little bit more data. Don't do this one one at a time. Just one at a time. Bring it! Mind your business or you be next. Bro, I don't know if you want to get that close. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think this is going to be good for you. I'm just putting it, putting it out there. Y'all might want to. All right. Don't say I didn't tell you. All right, there we go. Now we have it to a basic one, which should be okay. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a couple of more of these simulation chambers. And let's see if we can set these up a little bit better. One of the things here is we've got the energy coming in from the back, right? And then we have the exporting part going to the outside right here. It goes up and around. We can make this a little bit better. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. And uh, yeah. All right. I haven't hooked any of this stuff up. And I'm going to show you guys why. We are going to do something with modular routers, which is actually really cool. So to get started with modular routers, I'm going to be honest with you. It is, it is a ton. You can make yourself a modular routers manual if you'd like to. I'm probably going to have to reference it myself, but I know how to do something simple. Like what we're going to do is we're actually going to make the router uh, send power to all of these wirelessly. So that way we don't have to have so many pipes doing so. So how we're going to do this? You're like, that sounds cool. Wireless power like that. That sounds easy. So check this out. What we're going to do is we're going to first off, we've got to make ourselves these blank modules. We're going to need a bunch of these. And then we're going to go ahead and make ourselves at least one of these four modular routers. So now I want to make something called an energy distributor module. So basically these routers are modular. So you can put any one of these little augments, these upgrades, these kits, the modules, and it does different things. So we specifically want the energy distributor module because we're going to be distributing that energy that we get into uh, our, those machines. So we're going to need one of these. So I'm going to hit A here. These are actually not that bad to make, but we will need a distributor module. And there is the distributor module. And now we need to make the energy distributor module. 
which is just uh, an energy output module plus the other one. So putting these together and there is our energy distributor module. These modules can be upgraded. Now, if you just do it base like this, it's actually not going to do you any good. And I can show you guys that real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and set this modular router up just right here. Break this out. We're going to place this right here. Now, I'll place the plug, our point right on top of it. And then we can just go ahead and select our network. And then we'll need a way to put this in. So you don't have to use a pipe or anything like that. It just needs to know uh, it has to have a modular to tell it our module to tell it that it needs to get power. So we want to get a bunch of these energy upgrades. Each one of these, if you don't know what they do, you can scroll over them over here and hold I. Whenever you're looking at it like this, you should be able to hold I and it tells you increases a router's energy buffer capacity by 50,000 FE and transfer rate by 1000 FE per tick. So if we want these to push enough power. I think we're going to need at least like 10 of them. So that's what 10,000 FE. That should be not too hard to make. We're going to need these blank upgrade modules, which those are also very easy to make. So we can shove these energy upgrades in here and now it shows that we have a buffer. With these energy upgrades, it like it said, it increases the total amount of the buffer. So right now the energy capacity is 600,000 and the router can now transfer 12 FE per tick, 12K FE per tick rather. Let me show you how to get this to work. So I know we have an energy distributor module in here, but to get this to work, you actually have to shift right click each one of the things you want powered. And now it shows that if I throw this in here, it will distribute power to each of these. See, as we have these little lasers, I think there's a laser mod that I can't remember what it's called. Uh, I think it's like laser IO uh, that does something similar to this is pretty cool. But modular routers is just this is just beautiful to be honest with you. I love this. As you see, it is currently distributing out power to each of these and these are getting some sort of energy. It is very slow, but this frees us up from having to use cables to do all of the dirty work. I'm going to go ahead and connect these up pipe wise. All right, I think I've got it all figured out this go around. So first off, if you're doing like I'm doing with Ender Pearls, make sure that you make yourself some upgrades. You can see it right down there in the bottom left corner here where I have these four upgrades. These are four diamond upgrades from functional storage. Check those out. Slam those in here because at the top left, you can see that I can store 170 million ender pearls in this one little drawer right here, which is great. And then I also have, as you see, some more of these generalized nether predictions, ender predictions. We've got coal going from the wither skeletons. And essentially the way I set this up for everybody else who wants to know how to do this is that I have my prediction matrix up here. I could probably upgrade this or make it a little bit different, or I could actually just pull from the system, whichever one. But I like to, to see what it looks like here. I, uh, I make myself some predictions in here. It will be pulled into each one of these simulation chambers. Just so you guys know, and I'm going to show you guys while I'm doing this, they don't automatically output to the bottom. So we do have to come over here and grab the predictions that we get from these and add these to my pipes in the back. So that'll go down just like that. And let's see, does that work like this? It does. It pushes it straight down. So this is our Enderman prediction. So we're going to do this with each prediction that we end up getting here. So we have a wither skeleton here. This one actually hasn't succeeded one time. It looked like I haven't seen a single time for this wither to succeed. So I have this in the back set to a whitelist with the advanced pipe upgrade. So that way I can specifically pull out the items from the simulation chamber. I don't want this being, I don't want these to be pulling out the prediction matrices or matrices or whatever and putting them over here. I don't want that. As we see, I've also don't have all this hooked up yet. So let's, uh, and that should pull things over here. These are locked. So nothing is going to come out of these that shouldn't. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and throw in these wither skeleton predictions and just go ahead and grab me some of these wither skeleton skulls for just a little while. And then we can go ahead and add these to say this right here. Now, if these back up, they're not going to go on the ground. They're not going to lag the server like super hard or whatever, but at least it'll make us some for the time being. Eventually, I will get a wither prediction. If we go and we take a look at this, if I hit you on this, basic only has a 5% chance. So it's only a 5% chance to do it. System energy levels critical. So this doesn't have enough power to power it, which means this needs more energy upgrades. So now it has 50. This sucker can now store 2.5 million and the router's transfer rate is 50,000 per tick. This should give enough power to these to make it work. So we have it. We have it set up here. We have our modular router 
pushing energy to this. We have stuff being simulated. So we have our wither skeletons golds. We have some coal. We have some ender pearls and uh, the generalized stuff. Now, as you grab some more of these modules, you'll probably end up doing this more. I do suggest if you are gonna get into this, you might actually get into this early. This doesn't take as much power as I thought. Oh, we have wither predictions. Now we can come over here and uh, put the wither predictions in here. Nether star selection, nether star selection, and there we have it. And now we have this over here making us nether stars and you know what that means it is time for me to go ahead and call it for this episode guys if you guys like this make sure to like and subscribe it helps the channel a ton you'll see me more often here on youtube that's going to be kind of an exciting announcement as always thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate y'all so so much and i'll see you in the next episode Bye -bye!